Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing my take on the bookcase tag, which was created by Minx Laura 123's Wacky World. Laura's a good friend of mine for a little while now. She actually sent me my journal. I don't. Oh no, I finished that journal. She sent me a journal in a book, a bit like this, that was an, an old Harry Potter notebook, and I filled out the entire thing writing my journal in it. Um, so thank you for that, Laura. I don't even know if she remembers doing that. And yeah, she's created a, a new tag. Um, Laura's an interesting, well, she's an interesting character for a start, but her channel's interesting because as well as doing booktube stuff, she does a bit of everything. I mean, I think her main channel is an ASMR channel, so her Wacky World channel is, is the booktube stuff on there, but she also does stuff like she'll scratch £10 worth of scratch cards, for example, uh, to see whether she wins anything, do little hauls, like what she's selling on eBay, all that kind of stuff, all of which I think is pretty cool. So uh, definitely check Laura out if you haven't already. So yeah, she created this original tag and I'm going to go through, oh and she tagged me in the, the video for it as well. There are 11 questions, I'm going to go through and answer all the questions and then I will uh, tag some people at the end. So, question one, how many bookcases do you have? This is a very difficult question to answer because I have lots of different ones. So I'm just thinking I've got one full size bookcase over there, I've got one built in bookcase there, I've got one small bookcase that's just my current TBR pile down there. Then in my other room, I've got a small, no, two small bookcases, one on top of each other uh, for my bedtime TBR stuff. I have a half-size bookcase uh, under my window, then another full-size bookcase, then another full-size bookcase, and there's my bed there. Then on this side, we have two more full-size bookcases. Then there's a wardrobe through there that inside has got two little bookcases inside the wardrobe that are holding some of the books that I'm selling on uh, eBay. So yeah, I have a lot of bookcases, but um, I'm downsizing my actual collections. My actual collection is only about 600 books now and might even be shorter, uh, smaller soon. So um, yeah, I've been selling a lot of stuff on eBay, but obviously I still have a lot of the books. I mean, I think I've got 830 active listings or something, so I still use the bookcases to store them. But I have recently got rid of about two or three full-size bookcases. So even with all those ones I just mentioned, there used to be more. Question number two, what colour are your bookcases? Well, they're a mixture. Some are, um, they're mostly like the wood colours that you just get. They're just like uh, uh, um, Argos bookcases. You build them yourself. I think you get them in beech, black, and pine. Oh, and maple. So I think I have a combination of all of those by this point. And then the built-in bookcase over there is like this horrible cream colour that my landlord painted it before I moved in. Question number three, how do you organise the books on your bookcases? So... These ones, the one there, the one there, and the further one through there are my, like, the pile of books I'm keeping, essentially. So they're all just organised alphabetically by author surname. And then my large pile of books that are on eBay are very unorganised. I have basically moved them around a lot of times. So I have a rough idea of where the books are, but sometimes, like, it's, there have been times when I've sold something, it's taken me 10 minutes to find the book, you know? So, but recently I've started, I'm basically acting as a reseller now, and buying job lots of books and selling them on individually. And um, because of that, basically the new stock that I'm buying to then sell on, I'm being much more organised with where I store all that, so should get easier. <laughs> Question number four, have you got any ornaments, trinkets, lights, etc. on your bookcase? Um, on top of that bookcase over there, we have um, like a load of bookish box sets and stuff. Uh, the one over there has got, I mean it's got all kinds of crap on it. Um, I would take the camera off the tripod and show you, but it's kind of effort, so. <laughs> Maybe I'll show some overs at the end or something. But uh, the one over there has got uh, birthday cards on it, some photos of Biggie. It's got a bit empty bit Latvian beer bottle with a Latvian flag coming out of it. It's got a tambourine, little cat thing, uh, a ukulele, some Gorilla Glue, a Joan Byers LP that I'm going to give to my friend. Yeah, loads of stuff. Through there, again, all the books are just in random piles. Um, but one of the bookcases does also have my stock of like drinks and stuff that I bought to survive during the pandemic. Question number five, what would your dream bookcase look like? I'm not too worried about the bookcase itself, it would just be a bookcase that would be full of books. Um, I'd be more worried about the books themselves trying to get similar editions and stuff for them. Um, but also, it's more kind of the location it would be in, so it would be a dream library and it would be like a library would hopefully have an open fire, it would have a standing desk with my computer and stuff on, all my musical instruments, all my books, um, and it would be where I would live. Question number six, have you read all the books on your bookcase? I have read all of the books on my bookcase except for the ones on my current TBR pile just there and my bedtime TBR pile through there. And 
No, I have read all of the books that I've got in stock at the moment. Although I've got like 60 odd Ladybird books coming soon. And I did previously read some Ladybird books and they were fun. But I'm going to be much more selective with 60 of them, you know. I'm just going to go through and select the subject matters that I'm interested in. Which will mostly be history, I would have thought. History and science. Um, I don't know, it'd be cool if there's some French ones in there. That'd be sweet. But uh, yeah, so... I won't read all of them, I'll probably read like 10% of them. So when those arrive, I won't have read all the ones on my bookcase. But I will be selling them. So. Question number seven. Are your books on your bookcase fiction slash non-fiction slash mixed? They are very much mixed. Uh, we also miss poetry out of that. We miss plays out of that. I've got a fair few of those. Uh, I don't know. I've, have I got any other? I probably have some other genres I haven't even thought about. Like reference books, like picture photo books and stuff. Yeah, bit of everything. Question number eight, how many books are on your bookcase? I don't actually know uh, 100% for sure now because, again, I've been selling some. I think in my permanent collection, I think it's about seven or 800. And again, I have about 830 eBay listings, but not all of those are books. So I would say 700 of those are books, which is about 1,500. Add another 100 for copies of my own books and another 50 for my unread books. So I don't know what we got up to there, but about that. <laughs> Question number nine, what, genera, what genre of book have you got the most of on your bookcase? Um, Cozy Detective, I think, because Agatha Christie, uh, who also, she is one of the authors who I'm buying job lots of her books and selling them on, because I'm like, I don't care if I get stuck with loads of Agatha Christie, I'm down with that. Uh, but obviously also Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, and I have multiple copies of both Driven and The Tower Hill Terror, which are my books which might not necessarily be like stereotypical uh, cosy mystery, but there's definitely elements of it. So yeah, probably cosy mystery. Failing that, maybe classics. Uh, so I do actually have 80 Penguin Little Black Classics up there. So just with those and my other classics, it could well be classics. Question number 10, what book isn't on your bookcase, but you wish was on your bookcase? Meet by Dane Cavain, which is <laughs> the novel I'm currently editing. Um, other than that, there's no, there are no books where I'm like, I really need that book. Because if there was, I would just buy it. I mean, I'm privileged enough to be able to do that, you know. I recognise my own privilege as well. But I have disposable income. I don't, I don't necessarily spunk it away buying every new release, you know. But if, if there was a new book, like Stephen King, uh, If It Bleeds, uh, I re I've been really wanting to get to that. And even then, I got it for my birthday. Um, like, my mum asked, like, oh, if there's any one book you could get, what would it be? And it was that. She got it for me for my birthday. I still haven't read it yet. I'm kind of saving it for when I when I go and visit her, which will be soon. So, you know. <laughs> Question number eleven: What is your favourite thing about your bookcase? That it's mine and that it's got my book collection on it. I think, and I think that's probably everybody's favourite thing about their bookcase. So there we have it. That is the bookcase tag that was created by Minx Laura One Two Three. Thank you very much, Laura, for tagging me. As always, I'm going to just uh, tag a few people to take it after me. So I'm going to go in and look at my recent comments and pick out some recently commenty people. So if I look distracted like I'm looking over there, it's because I'm looking at the street, the screen. So right up first comment there, Nikki, I read past my bedtime. Yes, I would love to see your take on this, Nikki. I think that'd be great. Uh, Al, big hard books and classics. I know Al spends a lot of time on the move, so I don't, e don't know whether he could do this, but I would be interested nonetheless. Uh, Charlie Heathcote, of course. Mindy's book journey, Jason's weird reads. Uh, we'll do Todd the Librarian as well. I'm going to tag a Native Lady Book Warrior as well. And um, also, let's tag Mary Ann Moronsky. Both of those last two, definitely go check them out because they're kind of newer booktubers. And uh, I'm going to tag Missy from Binge Reader as well. I don't know if she's done a tag recently, but she has awesome um, bookcases. And uh, she has a lot of those Stephen King, um, oh, Hodder, the Hodder editions, the really beautiful ones. Um, which actually, I think, as standalones, they only look okay. But when you've got the whole collection, man, they look fantastic. Alright, so there we have it. That's my take on the bookcase tag. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of these answers. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. I don't know why I did it like that. I'm singing a little bit and here's Biggie. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.